Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome to the fantasy match preview for the all important top of the table clash between Lucknow and Gujarat. Now before I get to the preview, the fan to play fourth leaderboard phase has started just yesterday and they've bumped up the first price to 2 lakh rupees for the leaderboard. And I know that many games this year have had up and down patterns but with the leaderboard the beauty is one bad game is not going to spoil it for you. So ensure that you download the fan to play app and play with 25 teams each of those games, the grand leagues. And like you can see above, first prize is 2 lakh, second prize is 1.5 lakh, third prize is 1 lakh and there are so many other cash prizes to be won along with the Grand League in itself. So ensure that you download the app and make 25 teams right now. So first up, let's look at the team combination. We are looking at two keepers. First up, Lokesh Rahul and Quentin de Kock. Lokesh Rahul is the safe and obvious captaincy choice, keeping in mind that he has been playing really stably up top and was had some bad luck to get out for a diamond duck last time. Also in Pune, we do observe that at the start, it's slightly more difficult to bat. So does that mean you can take a risk on him? Maybe if the pitch and the conditions actually suit, that is a decision you can take only after the toss. Apart from that, we are looking at two batters. One would be Shubman Gill, who has slightly lost touch after that amazing start to the tournament for him. But obviously, he's a class player and he's the one that provides the stability to this Gujarat order. So, he's very useful to you. Quinn and Dickock obviously is keeping, so you have to keep him in the side. And your last batsman is going to be Deepak Hooda. Again, he's batting in the top three. You have some other tempting options from this section like Marcus Stoinis, who's a great mini GL option. He will give you an over or two here and there. Similarly, David Miller. But for now, I'm going with the stable choices in the small league team. Then we have the all-rounders and the bowlers for this game. My first all-rounder is Hardik Pandya. He's not been bowling in the last few games, but he's clearly mentioned across the tosses at a few games that he's not going to bowl unless it's totally necessary, which is swaying me away from making him captain or vice-captain for now because he slightly lost touch with the bat too. But obviously, he has to be in your team because he started the tournament with the bat really well. Second pick would be Jason Holder. He got quite a few wickets in that last game and hit two big sixes as well. And you know that I love players that can offer you all-round value. So, you'll surely see him as my captain in a few mini GL teams if he bowls first. Apart from that, I'm looking at five bowlers in this game. Avesh Khan and Chamira from the Lucknow team. Both of them seem to get the whole value from this pitch the last time. Lot of bounce, lot of movement and trouble, lot of batters on the good length. So, they are very good choices here. Apart from that, there are three other bowlers from the other team. Rashid Khan, who along with bowling really well is giving you batting value and probably if he bowls second, then he's a great GL captaincy choice. And the other two picks are obvious in Shami and Lockie Ferguson. Both have been blowing hot and cold across the season. If you see that it's batting friendly the pitch, maybe you can drop one of them. But for now, assuming that the pitches are slowing down and bowlers are getting a little more advantage with the pitches being sticky, I think this is a good framework to go with for now. Finally, this is what the team looks like. We have two keepers, two batsmen, two all-rounders. Yes, I'm going with the twos in the first three section and five bowlers. Obviously, you have this advantage exclusively on fan to play where you can tinker with the combination. So, ensure that you make full use of it, especially in your other Grand League teams too. And now we have the matchup section. Some really interesting matchups in this game. First one is KL Rahul, who's been dismissed thrice by Rashid Khan, and that strike rate is hovering only at about 60 to 70, which means it's that pure domination matchup where Rashid has the better over him. Second one is slightly more balanced out with Quinn and Dickock being dismissed thrice by Shami. But there you can see in that matchup that he's also scored runs at a strike rate of 150 to 160, so that can go either way. And the last one is quite interesting with Avesh Khan dismissing Shubman Gill twice and that strike rate is about at 100. So maybe if it's like a, bowl, a bowler's helpful kind of a track, then Avesh might have the nick over Shubman Gill in that specific matchup. So I hope this helps you make your GL drops. And now we have the fan to play challenge picks where you can make your team with just two, three or four players. I'm going with three picks in this game. Lokesh Rahul, Rashid Khan and Jason Holder. All three provide you value in different departments and have a mix of good stability and risk in those three picks as well. So you two go make your picks now and ensure that you join us on the Telegram channel for your final team, second innings updates and lots more. All the good luck to you.